take a look there is it they are spinning now here's how you test the IGBT directly without using multimeter the power supply which is 12 volts DC the negative this with the stripe you put it on the emitter and the positive of the power supply take all the positive of this 3 12 volts output here as our load and we're going to connect it in the positive of the power supply this serve as a switching there and the remaining I'm going to insert that here to the collector and take a look with the three output load for this for this IGBT kinunek ko lang yung power supply na negative dito sa kanyang emitter at sa collector naman niya is yung uh, load nitong tatlong fan natin at uh, yung positive nito nandito naman so i-on natin, tignan nyo kung ano mangyayari ha power on and then the ang IGBT is triggered by voltage once I'm going to hold the gate in the collector this three fan load will spin look there is it they are spinning now and then once I'm going to tap the gate and the emitter these three loads here will stop mamamatay itong tatlo na to yun ha ibig sabihin okay itong ating IGPT next punta tayo dito sa bad na IGBT once again yung negative ng power supply dito sa kanyang emitter yeah and then lipat lang natin tong just remove the load to the collector in this video you're going to learn how to test IGBT without using multimeter and take a look guys I'm going to turn the power supply on and look what will look what will gonna happen Commander at ang lakas pa ng buga there is it let's try to turn it off by pressing the gate and the emitter It doesn't, it doesn't turn off. Meaning to say, this IGBT is shorted. So we use this IGBT as a switching. Thanks for watching.